For a week in late March 2012, organizations from Sri Lanka, India, Cambodia and Thailand met in Krabi, South Thailand, alongside the host organization, the Mangrove Action Project, to kick off a project to restore the lost mangrove forests of Asia. For years, the NGO, the Mangrove Action Project, has been promoting the restoration of mangrove forests in Asia. The five organizations included the Centre for Research on a New International Economic Order, Crenio, from India, Fisheries Action Coalition Team, FACT, from Cambodia, the Naganahiro Foundation from Sri Lanka, Emes Foundation, also from Sri Lanka, and the Mangrove Action Project from Thailand. All the partners are working on a project funded by the German government, administered via the Global Nature Fund. They like to have uh, some other villagers come to, uh, to collect some food here. Mangrove forests are unique habitats and provide a home for a wide variety of marine and land creatures. They're also one of the most productive and the most threatened ecosystems on the earth. Mangrove forests help to protect the shoreline, retain water for instance and help to control floods. They provide a lot of natural resources for the people to set up their own livelihoods. So in particular for the local people, it's very important to protect them. And unfortunately, mangroves are destroyed still at an alarming rate. So there has to be done something against that. Half of all mangrove forests worldwide have been destroyed and the rate of that destruction has accelerated during the past 30 years. Around 40% of the world's mangrove forests are located in Asia, but they are under serious threat. Mangroves are harvested for timber and fuel wood, and large areas of woodland are cleared by the local people to make way for urban expansion, for fishermen to place their nets, and also for prawn farms. This used to be a mangrove area, and they and cleared in a traditional way. Everything's burnt, and then they get a, a bulldozer to flatten everything. It's actually eroded where the sluice gate is, just behind Ning. So they put in a sluice gate so they can control the water coming in and out. It was run as a shrimp farm for four or five years or so and then, and then abandoned. There's all sorts of bugs and grubs and crabs and worms and everything else in it, but nothing was regenerating. So what we've tested is taking the, the remains into hills and then some of them we have just left blank and some of them we've just taken the seeds and stuck them in. The project partners aim to rehabilitate over 100 hectares of degraded mangrove forest. Data on all the animal and plant species present in those areas will be collected, which will help with the development of country-specific long-term protection plans. The program will provide environmental education programs for those local people to encourage them to adopt sustainable behaviours and lifestyles. It also aims to involve local people directly in the implementation of measures under the program. The project will establish an international network for the protection of mangroves and members from that network will meet regularly to exchange experience and knowledge which will later be published in the form of a guidebook. The project partners aim to adopt a concept known as ecological mangrove restoration EMR, which is a gentle method based on the natural regeneration of forests and which works in harmony with the natural, local, ecological processes. The ecological mangrove restoration method has been developed and implemented in some settings by the Mangrove Action Project.